the goal of every data project is to generate value for the businesses it can be helping them to make more money or understand their users better and the center of all of this is data warehouse one of the most important skill as a data engineer you need to know and learn is how to build a proper data warehouse i work with one of the biggest furniture company in europe and us wayfair one of the project that i worked on was they wanted to track the complete journey of order getting placed and delivered it to the customer now understand this terabytes of data coming from multiple sources such as application websites trucks moving from one location to some other location coming from the third party sellers we had to bring all of these data at one single location so that we could build machine learning models or dashboards so that business people can understand what is happening in the business this is why data warehouse is one of the most important skill it is not just about loading the data into the data warehouse you need to understand how to load data efficiently so that you can save cost improve the overall performance and get the result faster i have seen so many boot camps and the courses online they just have like four to five videos in the data warehouse section and they don't even go in depth you cannot learn data warehouse warehouse in just 4 to 5 videos you need to understand data warehouse on the fundamental level and this is why i'm bringing the ultimate course on data warehouse for data engineers with snowflake database we will understand everything about course and detail structure of it but before we do that i have one quick announcement to make i'm rebranding my website data with darshil to a product name as data vidya the vidya means wisdom or knowledge the mission of data vidya is to make data easier for everyone by providing high quality and affordable content so that everyone can take benefit from it and this will be your go to place to learn everything about data in future it is not enough to become a data engineer you need to become a modern data engineer and data vidya will help you with that now let's understand course structure if you have seen my data engineering road map it has gotten more than 150000 views i divided the learning approach in two parts one is learning about the core foundation knowledge that do not change for 15 to 20 years so once you clear your basic foundation then you are good for longer period of time and second is learning about tool where you can apply all of this foundation knowledge that you have learned so this is how this course is structured first you will learn about all of the core foundation required for data warehouses and then you will learn the modern database tool called as snowflake to build this course i have done multiple courses and read these two books the data warehouse toolkit and the snowflake one and i have picked the best part from all of these different resources to bring everything at one place so this is how the course is structured first we will start by learning about the core foundation of data warehouse so first we will understand the data engineering life cycle where the data warehouse really fits then we will discuss about what is data warehouse why do we need it the kimball approach of data warehouse the book that we talked about initially the data warehouse toolkit it's kind of like the bible for data warehouse so i've read this book for you guys so that you don't really have to read this everything you will get in this course itself then we will discuss about the oltp and olap concept the difference between data warehouses and data lake what is etl extract transform load so all of this video will give you the strong foundation of data warehouse and why you are learning all of these things on the first place then we will do the mini case study on understanding the e-commerce platform from how the data is coming from the one place and how it is uploaded onto the data warehouse once all of these basic foundations are clear then we will start learning about the snowflake database we will get an overview how to create account basic about the snowflake ui and the in-depth understanding of the snowflake architecture after that we will do a mini project on iphone data analysis where you will get the confidence that you can complete one mini project by yourself this project will give you the confidence that you can build a mini project by yourself on snowflake and it makes learning much more fun this project is a part of all of my courses such as python and sql for data engineering and i will show you how you can do one single project using different methods so you can use python sql or snowflake database and build the same project once all of these things are done and then we will deep dive into the individual concept of data warehouses so we will start by understanding the dimensional modeling so the thing that we talked about that we can't just load our data onto the data warehouse just like that the dimensional modeling is the answer for that it is kind of like the structured way you load your data in the data warehouse so that you can get the faster result and organize your data in proper way so we will start by understanding about the dimensional modeling and why do we even need it then we will deep dive into what are the fact tables and dimensional 
position tables understand the difference between snowflake schema and star schema different type of fact tables and dimensional tables and one of the most important concepts such as understanding surrogate key and how to handle date time dimensions just by doing this module you will be ahead of the most of the data engineers in the market because most of the courses you will see in the market don't even go in this much detail about all of these concepts after having the understanding about dimensional modeling then we will build a one project where we will take the e-commerce data set to build a pipeline from amazon s3 convert it into the fact and dimension table and load the data onto the snowflake so that we can write analytics query on top of it everything we do in this course is completely hands-on so you learn the concept and you directly apply it on the next video so that you can have the better understanding about each and every concept that we learn once this is done we will learn about the slowly changing dimensions in real world most of the data do not change over the period of time such as product name customer address customer name all of these information do not change but when they do change how to handle this this is where the concept of slowly changing dimension comes into the picture so we will understand about this concept and we will also do one small mini project on how to handle this slowly changing dimensions this concept is also very important for your interviews once this is done we will learn about the etl such as extract transform load understand the each and every individual component such as what is extract how to do transformation and how to load your data and also we will understand the difference between the etl and elt once you complete this then you will have the strong foundation of the data warehouse most of the courses just touch on the surface level of the data warehouse but once you have these foundation knowledge then you can learn any tool and apply all of these concepts there so the next section is for that we will understand about the modern database tool snowflake last year i visited the snowflake data tour in mumbai and i learned so many big companies around the world are using snowflake database they are saving cost improving performance and helping the overall business to grow with this new modern data tool and this is why I have picked this Snowflake database as the part of this course. In this module, we will deep dive into the individual concept of Snowflake that you need to understand. So we will start by understanding about the Snowflake stages, how to write copy command if you want to load your data, how to handle different types of file formats such as understanding how to load structured data and unstructured data such as JSON. Then we will talk about the performance optimization in Snowflake. So we will discuss various ways using which you can improve the overall performance of your database then as a data engineer you need to understand how to connect with different data sources so we will understand about the storage integration such as s3 google cloud storage and microsoft azure then we will understand about the snowpy very important concept in snowflake that helps you to build a data pipeline time travel how to recover deleted data zero copy cloning materialized views different types of table dynamic data masking and many more so all of these concepts are the core snowflake database concept that you will understand in detail with proper hands-on guidance so you will learn the theory and understanding behind it and then you will directly apply all of these things that we learn once you complete this much then you will become the master of data warehouse with one modern data tool called as snowflake database you know what it does not end here we also have two end-to-end -end projects available one project is the same project that we have done in python for data engineering course which is building a spotify data pipeline but we will make some changes in this project like instead of having this much component we will replace this component with the snowflake database and understand how to build a pipeline with that so as we go forward we will take this one base project and make changes to different components so that you can understand how a data engineering project gets evolved as we go in the future so this way you will understand that it is not just about tools it is understanding the core foundation of data engineering project so we will take this base project and we will try to make this project better as we go forward and the second project we will do on the snowflake is how to handle the real-time data using snowflake stream so you will get the idea about both batch pipeline and the real-time pipeline at one place it took me two months to build this complete course i've learned all of these different things from multiple sources when i was learning about all of these things in my career i had to like you know refer multiple blogs videos and go at different places to learn all of these things and i wish i had a course like this at my time so that i could save a lot of time and just learn everything at one place so this is the course i have designed by keeping this thing in mind at single place you will get everything now it does not end here you will get a lot of bonuses in this course also so you will get the detailed notes for each and every section that you can revise the concept anytime you want you get the access to the exclusive community where you can connect with the like-minded people and learn from each other 
you will get the personalized discount on the future courses that i upload so people who already took the python and sql course they already know that as the early launch i give the huge discount to the existing students so that they can start learning and growing with me and at the end i personally solve all of your doubts so if you have any questions you can just ping me and i will reply to you so this was all about the course structure so today as i'm launching the new product data vidya i'm giving the exclusive discount of 20 percent generally i keep the discount at 10 percent but today i'm giving the exclusive discount of 20 percent on this code all you have to do is use code dw20 and you will get the 20 percent discount so you can check the link in the description go make the purchase right now and if you still have doubts and questions then feel free to ask me on my comment section i will happy to help you out this was all for this video i hope to see you in the course thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video